Easily the most objectively memorable thing about Thomas the Tank Engine is its original theme song. Thomas's theme song is iconic. Everyone and their mother has heard this song at some point in their lives. You don't even have to have seen an episode of Thomas to know its theme song, because it's everywhere. From the countless remixes, to memes, to covers, to official modern day content. It's all over the internet. It's that widespread. I'm not a music expert by any means, but this guy is, and this is what he has to say. I've met a lot of musicians at universities or teaching at music schools, and off the top of my head, I can think of three of them who were musical prodigies, achieving national level solo performance before the age of 18. And all of them had big musical brains, able to think about music and harmony on a level I couldn't approach without years of practice. And all of them professed having loved the Thomas the Tank Engine soundtrack from an early age. If that doesn't say it all, I don't know what does. In today's installment, I want to talk about Thomas's extraordinary soundtrack. Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell were the original composers for Thomas, and they were masters of their craft. They could have just created some generic kid show score for Thomas and called it a day, but they didn't. They took Britt Allcroft's rule about not playing down to children to heart. They understood that good music, no matter in what medium it's presented in, will appeal to any age. Every theme in Classic Thomas is a masterpiece. They're all so memorable and so catchy. Every character had their own personal theme, and Mike and Junior would stick to them every season. They would reiterate them every year too, changing the speed and arrangement to reflect the tone of the season. Thomas's theme, which is probably my favorite theme of the whole series, is very synthy and fast and forward-moving in season one, reflecting his very bouncy and patient, always-on-the-go character then. And then by season five, where Thomas has cooled down a lot more and matured, the theme is a lot slower, more orchestral and grand, reflecting where the character is now and the overall grandiose cinematic feel of the season. I tried to think of just one episode that sums up how groundbreaking the Thomas soundtrack is, but there's so much to choose from. My intention is to choose a single episode you could show anyone who has never seen Thomas before and just wow them at how fire it is. I finally came to the decision that that episode is Toby and the Flood. Toby and the Flood is one of the craziest episodes of Classic Thomas. It sums up the experimental, cinematic, darker tone of season 5. It's over the top, it's unrealistic, it's action-packed, but it's so much fun, and it's played completely straight. All the events that happen in this episode are unrealistic, but they're taken 100% seriously, and its perilous, never-stopping, nail-biting score reflects that. This is a non-stop episode. Right at the start, trouble is already brewing. Man, that's a lot of rain. Everyone's kind of worried. Harold's out and about and inspecting. Eh, that's not a good sign. Then, oh crap, the dam is leaking. Uh, we gotta get going. Then, oh my god, the river is rising. That's, that's dangerous. I don't like that. Then, holy crap, the dam just broke. Oh my god. And before you even have a moment to deal with that, holy sh**. The bridge just broke away, and Toby is floating down the frickin' river. This is so bad. Oh my god, how on earth do we fix this? This can't possibly get any worse. Nope, there's more. There's a frickin' waterfall. Oh my god, Toby's going to die. The action never stops. And the music never stops either. As soon as that slow music starts when Harold arrives at the dam, it never lets up. The entire episode is one long, continuous piece. Aside from the ending, Diddy. It slows down in parts, of course, in between events, and then builds up. And the build-up with those strings are just amazing. Ooh, that still to this day sends shivers down my spine. 
The music in Thomas has never gotten more cinematic and crazy as it has in this episode, and that's why I chose it for this installment. I dare you to show this episode to anyone under the impression that Thomas is just a silly baby show and have them listen to the score of this. It's bound to turn some heads. There are so many other themes and episodes from Thomas that I could also recommend. Once you finish Toby and the Flood, check out Flying Kipper. And when you finish that, go watch Duncan get spooked. Then watch Henry's Forest. Then any episode with the runaway theme. Then the title sequence to Lost Treasure. The rabbit hole is bottomless. But no matter what episode you watch, I really doubt anyone would disagree that Thomas's iconic soundtrack is truly unmatched. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. <laughs>